right, all right, all right. It is time, guys, for the blast from the past icy far, where players had to bring back their favorite strategies from Wings of Liberty, Heart of the Swarm, or Brood War. We're talking old school strats played in the current version of StarCraft 2, trying to make it work when usually there's a good reason people don't do these builds anymore. <laughs> Let's see what silliness ensues. As up here on the top right hand side, the red Protoss player, it's Kamikaze. And on the bottom left hand side, the blue Zerg. It's Ithor. Just check in. Uh, there we go, I think my sound was off before. Should be good now. Awesome, uh, so if you guys wanna get your replays in for next week, do not forget you filthy runts, you peons. It's a new challenge, and it's toddler tantrums. That's right. I want you to send in your replays where your opponents act their age. That's right. I mean, we all know most of our opponents in the ladder are usually, I believe that the demographic is mostly 20 to 40 year olds. But uh, sometimes you do get the impression that you're playing someone who's maybe two to four years old. I want those replays. I want them sent to me. I want there to be some hot, angry tears. I want there to be some some screeching, some rage, some anger. Hit me up, mother truckers. Hit me up. Uh, sh send me those ragey replays. Send me the wine. I, I want to cast some fucking upset, angry, zero emotional control mother truckers. Now, what is that drone doing? What is he? Oh, he's chasing the probe. Fair enough. My man. My man, Faith Legs with a 16 month resub. What's up, mate? Suggestion for the next icy fire, I see. I see far, constant observer production. Uh, for those of you who don't know, a balance patch just hit. Observers are faster now, and they're even faster with the uh, the observer movement speed upgrade. That's cool. Unfortunately, that would only work for Protoss players, but yeah, we could do some level of pervert. Oh my God, Eon Blue, please write this down. My mod, Eon Blue, please write, write this down. Yeah, I see far, or like something to do with perving, and it would just be about having ridiculous map vision with like overlords, overseers, sensor towers. Um, for those of you who, who I, I proxy sensor towered uh, parting one game, it was great. It totally worked. He, he got freaked out. Um, yeah, basically just mass observers or constant revelation or mass overseers, something like that. That's a great idea for a challenge. That'll be amazing. So uh, we've got a few people in chat saying this is a gate core nexus. This is a completely standard legacy of the void. This is new school. This isn't old school. They're like, pig, this is no. Pig, no. This isn't it. Guess what, guys? Most of these games are sent in by people on the ladder. They're playing people who have no idea their opponent's playing a challenge. I am going to guess, since this looks like a very standard Protoss build order, it's the Zerg sending it in. Guess what? This looks like a Brood War opening. It's hatch, pull, into a third hatch. No gas yet. Ooh. All right. All right. Let's see where this goes. Let's see where this goes. Now, this is this is very Wings of Liberty as well. If you guys don't remember Hatch, Pool, Hatch, Wings of Liberty, or, or eh, Brood War, you'd probably be getting gas by now, actually. It, it depends on the scenario. Anyway, this was the standard opening. It was either Pool, Hatch, Hatch, or Hatch, Pool, Hatch, back in Wings of Liberty. Um, this is a, a super economic way to open up here. And delaying those gases, I think back in, what was it, in Heart of the Swarm, was like double gas on four minutes or five minutes? I, the, the game timers were so different. Because you started with only six workers back then. Nowadays, you start with 12 workers. That whole early game gets just skipped past for the most part. So I'm really curious to see where Aethor takes this. And yeah, double gas. Double gas and a Roach Horn. Okay. All right, all right. Aethor is going to just try to go straight up to Roaches. Skip the Zergling stage of the game. We may even see an old school Roach Max. I mean, this could be... Yeah, people are saying in chat, looks a bit like the Stefano opening. This could be... For anyone who doesn't know, um, back in the days when everyone was a pleb at the game, there was one man, a god, who sta stood... Head and shoulders above everybody else. His name was Stefano, and he would regularly max out by 11 minutes, which is the equivalent of maxing out by about 7 minutes in Legacy of the Void with roaches off this opening. He would get so many drones, explode into gas, and get an insane amount of roaches out. So I think that might be what Ithor is doing. Right now, Ithor, with just a couple of slow zerglings, a unit which is so vulnerable to adepts, is somehow keeping Kamikaze back. Kamikaze is like, what are these zerglings doing? He's just kind of poking around, being real careful, and as I say that, he's going up to six gateways with resonating glaives almost finished. We are going to see a gigantic adept timing. So we're going to see if one of the more modern Legacy of the Void builds, big adept pressure coming across the map. How will that fare against the Stefano style roach build? I mean, there's 53 drones out. Look at that. Mineral line full. Mineral line almost full. Mineral line almost full. Uh, but Ithor has zero roaches right now. 
and that could be a real problem if Kamikaze's Adepts come across the map real soon. But these Zerglings, if they can, if they can stop the probe getting the pylon up, that'll be huge. But no, they get distracted. Uh, the Adepts are like, over here, doggy doggy. They wave their little laser shurikens in front. The fucking Zerglings are like a bunch of kittens with a laser pointer in front of them. They're like, oh, oh run straight towards it and uh, do end up with their heads chopped off. That pylon going down there, though, and in response, seven roaches popping up out of Ithor's production. We've got some gas mining going strong here. Ithor's even got a fourth on the way. What the hell? Psychopath. Uh-oh. Adept shading in. Angry ladies with laser frisbees are going to start to take out a couple of these drones. Are they going to shade? Oh, they're going to just shade out of there for now. I like that. A little bit of safe damage and uh, decides to shade like a foot. What is this? What the hell? That's like the equivalent of when someone spends 20 minutes trying to find a better parking spot so they don't have to walk like seven meters. You're like, you realize you could have just got out of your car and walked the seven meters. And they're like, nah, I don't like moving. Where's my one liter soda? Obesity, yay! Um, the shade's gonna go through those. Oh shit, the adepts just go straight past. The roaches are confused. They're like, ah, where'd they go? These ladies are coming in. They want to murder these worker lines. They're gonna come. Oh, so get them, get them, get them, get them. The focus fire is not going too well. These roaches are distracting him. That queen, she tanks a ton of damage, but these adepts are starting to murder the worker lines. And that's getting a little bit vicious here, but I thought still has a decent economy up, but uh, uh. The damage is now starting to pile in here. These Adepts are going to slowly get cleaned up. Uh, these Adept Shades... <laughs> they were thinking about it. They're like, oh, do we go here? Do we go here? Uh, let's cancel and get the hell out of here. Because that's a ton of roaches. These Adepts are deciding to turn around and continue going in. Those four Adepts going to dive. The roaches aren't protecting. I thought, no! <laughs> <laughs> What's great here is we're seeing the Stefano strategy, but we aren't seeing the Stefano execution. Stefano was like a surgeon with his mouse. He still is one of the best defensive players out there. And uh, Ithor, on the other hand, is playing the... Uh, the. This is like when the bad, the bad father, who's just terrible with the kids, finally gets the kids for a weekend, and he just sits them down in front of a DVD, gives them some fast food, and fucks off to ladder StarCraft. You guys know what I'm talking about. And the kids are like, Dad, can we go to the park? And he's like, fuck off, I've got to hit Masters League. That's what these roaches are. They just keep leaving their kids alone in the mineral lines. Strangers are literally walking in the doors unlocked and, like, luring them into their goddamn van. Um, I mean, it, Protoss, Protoss is a pretty filthy race. They do target children regularly. And, uh, and drones are actually their favorite children to harvest organs from. So, uh, a little bit nasty here. Finally, the roach dads do end up protecting them. Uh, these ones luckily happen to be rallying out past there. So I, I don't think this was really Ithor's prudence. I think it was Ithor's luck that uh, those last two Adepts do go down. Uh, the Adept still does take out a drone there before getting deflected. And behind this, third base is up. Kamikaze is adding Immortal Stalkers, Sentries, more Immortals. We've got Charge on the way, a second Robo. And that's a pretty good anti-roach army. So um, if you guys don't know, Immortals are the hard counter to roaches. But... Uh, Let's, let's let's do a little bit of mathematics, shall we? Right now we have 44 roaches versus two immortals. So that means each immortal will need to kill a casual 22 roaches. Wait, sorry, sorry guys, uh, 50, okay. They'll need to kill 26 roaches each. As long as they can do that, I think Protoss can defend this attack. Now, if there was one moment in the game where you want to be desperately chrono-boosting immortals, I think it's right now. Kamikaze is going to need the force fields of a lifetime and as many immortals out as possible. Because right now, I don't care how hard immortals counter roaches, you need a couple more of those bad boys to deal with this gigantic swamp of roaches. That's right, this is not an army, it's not a horde, it's not a swarm, it's a swamp. It's the point where the roaches, even as they're dying, the other ones are surfing across the corpses of their comrades into your face and vomiting on their opponents. That's right, check out the law. Roaches do actually vomit acid. Abath is a sick bastard. And uh, that's a couple of roaches. That is a couple. Let's see, can Kamikaze land the force fields of a lifetime? He's gonna need it. He's gonna need it. Kamikaze drops a guardian shield. That's not a force field. Tries to run back to the ramp. Ah, <laughs> that's a lot of roaches. Oh my god, please force field. Oh my god. God, please. These Zelts coming, the Immortals doing a good job. About as good as they could hope for. The Roaches are like, nah, screw it. Let's just run into your base. We're not even going to fight your Immortals. 
The Immortals are like, hey, come back, fight, fight us, fight us. The Roaches are like, it's not just you who can target children, mate. A bunch of these Vom boys get in the worker line and start murdering those unprotected probes. Meanwhile, Roaches on the left hand side, stutter stepping on top of these Immortals and they're just getting absolutely overwhelmed. The swamp of Roaches just diving on top here. Stefano style Roachimax. And, uh, and did end up just, oh my god, crushing over this. Kamikaze's like, oh wow, you built roaches. So much skill. Roaches are a good skill to have, I guess, you fucking Zerg player. Ah, look at this, just desperate. Two Immortals in the main, gonna put up a Valiant defense. They will actually hold on to the production. Um, so many probes are going down, though. So many probes, and the natural looks like it's almost it. I mean, if the main and natural can be held, that'll be great, but... Oh! Oh! Hot pick up micro! Hot pick up micro! The prism here, trying to dance its way around. I thought it was like Stefano didn't have to deal with ranged pickup on a warp prism. What the hell is this bullshit? Thankfully, Kamikaze is no liquid hero. Is, uh, is not going to be dancing these units around as well as some of the, the best pros in the world. This is no MC. This is no parting. Kamikaze does some nice micro, but does end up losing the natural nexus. Is down to just 16 probes, and there's still a, uh, well, this isn't really a swamp. This is more of a bog of roaches. It's just a bit of a bog, but uh, nonetheless, it's uh, only two wounded immortals and a couple of zealots. And now it's a swamp of roaches again. Uh, time to dr- Oh my god, you piece of shit. I love you, I thought. You're a filthy bastard. Dances in front, prompts the GG. And, uh, yeah, that was a little bit brutal. Hats off to Ithor there, bringing us a blast from the past with that incredible strategy. The old Stefano Roach Max gasless into three base saturation, massive Roach explosion, blocks the adept pressure, and takes the game. GG, well played.